Hello, people. Welcome to the United Way. This is our reaction to the latest news in regards to Manchester United. You know, I mean, Marcus Rashford has just come out and, you know, it is written here on the goal. It's written here from other sides that Marcus Rashford has come out and uh, basically said that please stop spreading malicious and rumors news, you know. So Marcus Rashford has reacted to a, a comment. If you haven't seen that already, from um, a famous, we would say famous uh, Manchester United fan channel in, by name, the United Stand, owned by Mark Gobridge. And, uh, you know, uh, if you don't know, which I'll be surprised if you don't know who Mark Gobridge is, because he is a, no, he, he owns a Manchester United channel. He should, he is a Manchester United fan. And uh, he's kind of controversial to, to the United community, the football communi uh, community, because he has a different approach in reacting towards circumstances or situations. Uh, I basically um, knew the guy, uh, I don't know, I mean, virtually knew the guy. Um, I think back then they had less than uh, 200k uh, subscribers in their channel. Uh, but, and um, yeah, they have a not. They have. They, they, I, I think in terms of social media, someone like a, 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 a channel like the United Stand is doing really well because they understand on how to uh, to to use the whole social media platform. And also the guy Mark Bobis, for me personally, I think he's uh, he's unbelievably talented in what he is doing. But at the end of the day, we are all fans, Manchester United fans. We have different approaches, different angles, different opinions. And it's normal for us to disagree on certain uh, decisions. So what happened? It seems as if Marcos, um, uh, Mark Gobridge, uh, who has um, uh, came out and uh, gave his opinion about the benching of Marcus Rashford and Marcus Rashford um, uh, basically coming out and doing something which I would not do that if I was Marcus Rashford because... Uh, uh, I don't think this issue is more. Yeah, it's more about uh, Mark Gobridge of the United States. I think this issue about Marcus Rashford is more about Marcus Rashford replying to it. I think Marcus Rashford didn't do the right thing, but he's only human, so he had to nail down the, his uh, his position here. So um, uh, Mark Gobridge came out and did a video. I think some some couple of hours ago, two days ago. Uh, two days ago, yesterday, I think, yeah, that um, Marcus Rashford, the fact that he's on the bench, it seems as if he, they, uh, these are signs. I mean, he was just suggesting, you know, that there are signs that, I mean, keeping a star man like Marcus Rashford with such a salary, there are signs. These are, these are basically kind types of the signs that shows that Marcus, that Marcus Rashford could be sold. That was just an opinion. Some would say it is a it's a, it is a rational opinion. Some would say uh, Mark um, uh, didn't have to be to, to 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 say that that he's just a fan, you know, as uh, he said. But you know what? <coughs> I have to back Mark Bobbish on this one. I think he has a right for an opinion. One number two, and uh, I think this is just uh, targeting uh, one uh, a fan who is uh, who is less controlled by the mi mainstream media. I keep telling most of you guys, you know. I'm not here. You don't need to subscribe for this channel because of this. I, I don't do this just for for subscription or views. When I was a kid, as a football kid, I can tell you about about me. I supported Manchester United in the late '80s. That's when I started supporting United. I love football in general. Honestly, footballers, fans generally, you no, know, those who support football, obviously. They met in bars, met in social gardens, talk about games after or before the game, buy a drink, you know, or sit with your friends, argue, you know, choose your best player. And so it was a different uh, proposition. But you could say anything, but guess what? It was between that that milieu where you are. But today we have the online TV. Yeah, we have now streams and YouTube, you know, social media. And that has given us... Uh, us, when I mean us, not us, but you in, in included, a platform to express yourself. But and un unfortunately, we are doing this in a period in which uh, the world is becoming something different. The society today is not what used to be in the 90s, right? Some words do kind of destroy others. If you see what, I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say that today we think people are very flat, fragile. Whenever you come out with something, you come out with an opinion that doesn't suit somebody, it becomes it becomes so personal. I don't believe that an ordinary fan, I don't believe an ordinary fan will hate a player playing for his club. I don't believe that for one. That's for one. I think fans can be very 
dramatic. That's true. But I think fans need also a ch- need uh, the the amount of investment you as a fan invest in your club, not only financially, emotionally, the time it gets you to watch a game, your eyes that plays the role for advertisements to buy for for brands to buy advertisement to your club. And to some extent, your finance, your pocket, you do buy these football t-shirts and everything. I was in the, I mean, I was in the Harrods where I bought the Manchester United up for over a hundred pounds. That's a lot of money for an average dude like me. I mean, so there's a lot of things put into uh, an average fan for us to to just sit quiet and not have an opinion. I think football is an opinion. And those of you who have an opinion, I, I mean, big up to you. Those of you who come sometime to the channel or to other United fan channels, all the football channels and express your view. It shows that those are emotional situations which you have to express. That is why you see uh, online football channels uh, are thriving because they give you that platform to express yourself. So coming back to this situation with Mark Goldbridge, and uh, he just did a, a normal show, what he does on his channel, obviously. And uh, I don't think it was personal from Mark Goldbridge. I don't think... Um, uh no matter what you say about the guy he is uh he's a manchester united fan and uh in society in general you're talking about football in society in general we get sometimes folks who uh don't sing the song of the public if you know what i'm saying the folks who come out from a different angle and express themselves so i don't see why uh setting players why they should be why 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 individuals should be targeted for that marcus Rashford coming out here yeah, i i will blame marcus Rashford for the retaliation in this situation because it has created a situation now that they they that's the mainstream media are targeting those people those people like me so we have to speak out this this is no more this is not um all about mark Gobridge anymore they we should we should speak out this i mean we who those of us who love manchester united who have a view who have social media a uh, small community like what we have here, and we spend daily, daily um, hours to get content and talk to fellow fans. I think they should leave Marcus. Uh, they should leave Gobridge alone because he is playing a very vital role. And the fact that Marcus Rashford has reacted to Mark, Mark Gobridge's uh, statement, right? Then it shows that the fans means a lot, and that's what I keep telling you. That the when you hear the Glazers wanting to sell Manchester United and they are very confident that United they won six billion or nothing, or they are confident that in a couple of years United will worth would worth almost ten billion. Be, they are counting on you, the fan. They are counting on the fans in Africa and Nigeria, counting on the fans in China, the fan base. Because the, if you think that much going, much going, right? Funds are the funds that determine a football club. You're making a massive mistake. One of I work with with um, transfer uh, agents, so I know one or two things about football, and I played football in a respectful, respectable level. I tell you guys this: the value of a club depends a lot on its fan base. There are other things, stadiums, you know, stadiums, the level of team, but the fan base plays a massive role. I don't know if it's unfortunate or Manchester United or fortunate, but Manchester United has a massive fan base. This fan base has been built from years from the Busby Babes, has built, been built from years from um, uh, Sir Alex Ferguson, the patterns, the class of 92. I mean, it's, it, there's a whole history. I remember I was ill in, when United uh, uh, took the champion, won the Champions League against Bayern Munich. I was ill. I had malaria. I was sitting on my mother's leg. And that second goal just, 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 it was like an antibiotics for me. I just started sweating. I was on the bed, but I was the final. So I want to tell you guys that, um, just a short reaction, because I want to tell you guys that you as a fan, what you, we have learned from this is very simple, that we fans, we matter. I, for an individual, I might not matter, but as a fan, we do matter. You should never underestimate your influence you have not only in Manchester United, but in your previous, in your various football clubs. The main reason, some people create uh, fan channels for many reasons. Some create them for business, that's fine. Some create them um, for, for enthusiasm, that's fine. But some create them mo- uh, mostly create them for building a community. 
The goal for this My Little Community, the United Way TV, is simple because I was I grew up in the level where the Man United Way, the Manchester United Way, used to be something you could be proud of. I mean, when we back there as a kid, we go and play a five aside. We like it's like yeah, we'll play the Manchester United Way. You know, two three passes, transition, long pass, and goal. It was just that kind of way. It was something that was embedded in us. I kind of thinking in terms of even tactics how we can approach back them as a kid. So I choose the name here yeah, as the United Way because um, TV. So we, that's my own way of approaching uh, you, the fans, and thinking, you know. But we live in a different period now where everything is like I call the younger generation the TikTok fans, those who think that playing Neymar. Cristiano Ronaldo, Messi are on the same team. That team must win the Champions League and will win the Champions League and must win. It's just a different generation. But anyway, hope you got something from the My reaction in this uh, video is simple that, um, I mean, Mark Gobridge is correct. He is correct to have an opinion. He is not say he, he didn't write anything on stone. You know? you know, Mark Gobridge is correct to say he assumed that. I mean, it could be. Some would say it is a clickbait. I don't know. I just look what next. I'm looking at the picture. The same mode next. But Mark Gobris, I think he's correct. I think he's correct to to give his opinion on what's happened. If you don't have an opinion, it's just like in any relationship, like your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whosoever. If you don't have an opinion in a relationship, then uh, you're not interested. Mark Gobris didn't go online and say. I mean, demagog demagogic words against uh, Marcus Ra Rashford. He didn't say any racial words. He didn't. He didn't say anything, uh, you know, condescending against any United player. He came out and being honest and saying, you know, he thinks that uh, this might be a sign of something, uh, something really big uh, for Manchester Rachel staying on the bench. So, uh, yeah. But now, guys, I just want to get your turn. What do you think about this? This is just a reaction about Marcus Rashford. Uh, and I want to know what you think about this because this is very important as a fan. As I just said, you matter most. The most... I will tell you guys is the most important stakeholder of a football club is you, the fans. So take it down. Try to uh, get your word out. And yes, guys, make sure you click the like on the video. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel. We do short, short videos here on the channel. And please, 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 if you don't, don't want to subscribe, it's fine. But share these videos with all United fans. We want to build a community where we can have a place where we do exchange ideas on different situations in regard to football and in Manchester United in particular. So without all said, yeah, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.